Crouch. Bind. Set. Joe presents the House of Rugby, together with Guinness. Hello and welcome to this week's show. Tins is in a good mood. Out of I'm ten. In, uh, ooh. Eight and a half. I'm interested by the um, short sleeve shirt. Are you driving a bus later? Or? <laughs> it, was fu- it was fucking boiling earlier. I was like, it's getting the pipes out. Yeah. It's I mean, you nervous. must have had a break between driving the bus and doing geography, have you? Well, some of us haven't quite. M- you haven't quite moved on. You just turn up in fucking shorts yeah, and a t shirt. Of course I haven't moved on. And medical still- boots. I do yeah. have a, also have a jacket so no one sees the short sleeve. So <laughs> yeah. you stay cool, but yet you don't notice. But except you've worn it live. I don't mind wearing it live. Right. I mean, he, pipes looking he's, right. He's, well, he's doing a, a sponsorship campaign for Giacomo. It's a <laughs> Love class it. Giacomo, it Giacomo attire. Courtney Laws is the Giacomo man. Is Sorry, it? have you ever worn anything but a shirt and a jumper? No. It was it was so hot today. I used to, I was, wear, I used I was, to wear a cravat in nightclubs. Do you, yeah. do you still dress for dinner <laughs> with you and your wife? Do you like, there's a gong. Yeah, yeah there's yeah. a gong. Are you wear a black tie? White tie. Is it? Which is one above black. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of those. Oh, yeah. well, is that racist or...? No, well, just it's checking. one of those where they sit at the opposite end of the table and they have an intercom just to chat. <laughs> That's what I mean, yeah. They send down bitumen. How, how is, the salt goes the, down on a train. How's the soup, darling? Yeah. Um, Mark's out of 10. You're, you're not in a very good mood. Uh, no, I'm having a crap day today. Uh, because we're here to, we're here to um, that you, your career has been extended by a week. <laughs> yeah, he's got another week of corporate breakfast. He's got another week of doing breakfast breakfast business meetings. Because I've keep turning up to trading. Um, no, I'm very happy that the guys made the semi final. I'm just annoyed that my foot's still shit, and there was a potential for me to have been involved in that game. Barbars or the game? <sighs> the game that well, well, not the, the semi final, <laughs> but the actual Barbars England game, and. Uh, I'm not going to be able to do it. Can you so. run water? Did you, also, no. did you also get bad news off the doctor? Because you seem to be wasting away. Each... No, I, I'm, no, I'm, I'm getting lean. I'm getting lean. Like, just shredded. Oh, don't worry about it. For don't audio viewers, James has lifted his shirt. Yeah. Not it's not as good as it once time. was, though, is it? No, it's nipples, what are you fucking it's... talking about? <laughs> it's been better than it. Down to four. What, out of ten? From six. Well, <laughs> four. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They said body like baby watch, face like crime watch. Yes. Yeah. Prawn. Yeah that's, all you, yeah, that's what I was describing. Just imagine that house, that house when you used to live with uh, Benjamin Button. Yeah. Um, that was the pra- that must have been the Prawn House Central, right? Yeah, it was. There was a lot of shirts off yeah. night and yeah, yeah. at the time. Shirts who's off. Who, who's Mask Benjamin Button for the viewers? Ollie, uh, Ollie, Ollie Phillips. Phillips. Yeah. He looked like uh, Michael Checker goes, mate, what's wrong with your mate Ollie Phillips? He looks like a fucking accountant. <laughs> he goes, why is there an accountant on the field? Yeah. God, he went, what, he went, that was top the best rugby ever played. Top try scorer yeah. of, of the top 14. Ridiculous athlete. <laughs> Unbelievable. Just, just looked from neck up like he was 62. He had right? a head like a chewed tennis ball, but he had unbelievable rig, fit, yeah. fittest bloke ever. Yeah. Unbelievable. Scored tries of fun. I'm a three out of 10 this week. Thanks for asking. Oh, why? Oh, I read below the line last week. On the YouTube video. Oh, you and, did get a bit upset. People, I saw it. people were really, um, really nasty about my sing song introduction. So I thought it might not come this week. Do you know, well, we have warned you about it. We have told you. Well, no, first of all, I we, very nearly considered resigning on the spot. Do you want, first of all, you, you're extremely you realised cheesy. you had nowhere to go. Yeah. 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 Sky, Sky's <laughs> gone, so now it was this or Asda. Yeah. And you're, you would literally be too posh for Asda. Do you think? I think you'd have to be the food hall of Harrods, right. Madam uh, Truffle yes. Department, yes. too. I got very upset by the abuse and I very nearly walked away and then I thought, double or quits. Yeah, but why, why would you... <laughs> so what, double or what quits. Are you, what, are you bringing, what are you bringing tonight? Oh, go on then. I've written some lyrics. Go oh, on oh, then. Oh, you've God. written it. Sort of licking your lips like a sicko. Oh, yeah. um, you have to sing your bits. And if you don't do it, we're going to do it again oh, until okay. you do. Okay. We're having a shing shong. Apparently this is our last show. Well, if we are going to talk, if we are going to talk about after well, bye, match piss ups, then we do need a good shing shong. Shing shong. To, the, to the tune of Sloop John B. You're talking to me so I know what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know what that is. You've never heard of Sloop John B. Listen, See, I you're literally... talking to a guy who's never, uh, never Beach gone boys. through... <clears throat> yeah, but he's never gone through the old Sloop John B. He's never... Okay, right, right, ready, right. can, he's can, never... Can, can you know the song? Can I just check one thing? Right, Smell. first things first, let's address this. Don't ever look at the comment section. I told you, if you know, live and breathe... It's a setup. By... It's, it's called a setup. Yeah, but you were dead generally disappointed. I saw you a bit like rattled a bit last time, going through your iPad like, oh, oh... Who gives a shit? They've got time to comment on social media. They've got enough time to just fuck right. Are you ready? Are you ready, to, are you ready to this week's intro? Yeah, t- you know they do the crouch, touch, pause, engage? Yeah. Oh, this, this is going to be on your jingle. Is, this is oh, terrible. Oh right. You need to sing, yeah. otherwise we do it again. Yeah, yeah. I told you. Ready? Well, we don't know the lyrics yet. So, welcome to House of Rugby with Hask, Payne and Mike T. How we're still on air just baffles us three. Baffles us three. We talk loads of crap. Talk loads of crap. crap. And that's about that. And that's, and that's about, about that. that. 
So welcome back to the House of Rugby. The House, House of, of Rugby. rugby. But, um, um, but, yeah, that's good. Yeah, I mean... I, I want to go home. You, the weird thing is that I... Uh, so, I <laughs> so, are you still there? Sorry. <laughs> oh, shit. He's the bastard just, commentating just, below, can I, commenting below the line. Just, right, just, wait, wait, wait. That officially wait, is the last wait, of the Xing Shongs. Wait, wait, wait. You, every time I speak to you on the phone, you make out you're like the busiest man. It was like Steve Jobs, <laughs> RIP, Alex Payne. Yeah. You've spent your whole time taking up. You've got nothing. You're, you're, I, bet you, I read that on the blog this you're morning. Essentially like that, you're essentially like that bird um, from that book who used to get on the train every day to go to work and witnessed all those murders. Can't Good remember, film. Uh, uh, Girl on the Train. Girl on the Train. With, um, where you literally are unemployed. Wasn't that hard to figure yeah. out. Yeah. He's you're unemployed. quite as pissed as her. You're unemployed and you're driving around London just sitting on trains and tubes pretending you're really busy. Okay. Like speaking on a phone that's not even connected. Buy <laughs> yeah. like, 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 I like Alan Pike with the, with the Bluetooth yeah. headset running. Yeah. Yeah. Lynn, cool. could you take this down for yeah. me? It's, instead of Lynn, you've got Sai. Sai, uh, game, mm. monkey tennis with uh, Tins and Hask. Yeah. Good. I, I, that wasn't quite the effect I was hoping for. And I think at this point in time, I will retire I'm, I'm all musical introductions to a future episodes of, of House Peace. of Rugby. This week, I haven't actually looked at the script this week, which doesn't make a huge change. Oh, but then, this week, to mark the culmination of the Premiership season for all but four teams, well done to Saints on making the advance. What a story that is! Yeah, We're going uh, to reflect. Has been influential. <laughs> Played five games. Right. I tell you what. Morale when we go and win the Premiership, I'll be up there like a fucking greyhound. <laughs> John Terry. Uh, John Terry. I'll be, I'll be fighting John deals Terry. that trophy. I'll be like, ah, yeah, come yeah. on! Can't <laughs> thank the fans. I've done so much. Um, we're going to reflect. Retiring. <laughs> on the team social, the rituals of going out and having fun as a team, the good ones, the bad ones, the social hand grenades, and the importance mm. of team bonding. We'll also look ahead to the Premiership semi-finals. The boys will pick their players of the season. From the Pro 14, how long's that list? The Guinness Pro 14. What's the Pro 14? <laughs> <laughs> Rutal. We've got some very nice people from Guinness here this evening. Our sponsors, of course. Oh, yeah. Who, yeah. Who, yeah, sorry, no. yeah, we've got the main people from Guinness here because they're obviously unbelievable sponsors with fully embossed glasses. It's got Hask written on it, but you can't see it. And Sai got a bit like, started lying to make friends, started ordering us around as if he was actually in charge. And it was, uh, honestly, most people would let it fly because I thought Sai's obviously got a job. Don't want to embarrass him. Halfway through, I said, Sai, if you carry on, I'm going to shut your head the fucking door. <laughs> Wind choke, your neck in. Stop choke, lying to choke, Guinness. Choke you out with yeah, your you've headphone <laughs> Yeah, you've, wire. Ne you've never piped up again. Don't ever speak just like that again. But you are living rent-free in his head right now because we're up for another award and he's turned down the invitation to the awards too. Ah, yes! And he's not wearing denim for the first time in 34 shows. Yeah. It's a check. <sighs> it's a check. It's a button-down check shirt. Yeah, but that's button completely up, different no because denim. he had a spectrum of uh, denim, light blue, stone dark wash. blue, stone wash, but they're all Faded. around... Faded. Yeah, similar sort of... Stuff. He's gone full lumberjack. Yeah. It's unbelievable. We own him. We own him. And Murray, Murray's gone. Yeah. Murray's been sacked. Fortunate... The ship is falling apart. His uh, Hawaiian shirt caught fire <laughs> in a, 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 a vegan rave in the middle yeah. of Shoreditch. <laughs> he, was, he was late a couple of times. At the Guinness he was events. playing synth and he caught his fingers in it and it blew it up. Slipped in some hummus into the <laughs> falafel fire. Um, let's start at the beginning, says it's producer very good, please. When did you start having team socials? What's the, what's the first that is Sound of Music? Yeah. Is it? And? When did you last watch Sound of Music? I don't know, one Christmas. I What's have never Christmas? watched Sound of Music. Well, you are missing out on so, so much, much in life. Sloop John yeah. B and Sound of Music, two of the greatest <laughs> S's you will find. What is your favourite kids' film of this point in time? Oh. Um, I would say. Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> Lion King? Very strong. Hey. What is wrong with you? What has got into you? What has got into you? Have, you take some test. I'll tell you what. Sort of musical I'll tell you what he's done. You've got those testosterone shots, haven't you? You had a bit of a midlife crisis and yeah. you've fired yourself up a bit. Because it's puberty at last. It's a real treat. <laughs> 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 Nipples are a bit sore, are they? Yeah. Pepping yourself up. Um, the My favourite kids movie, quite like Aladdin. Aladdin is a good one. Okay. Don't pull a face. Aladdin's no, I'm just great. not sure that gets in the top ten. Really? Yeah. Um, I like the railway children. Oh, and... God. Just, what is wrong with you? <laughs> what is wrong with you? Everything. Quite you're can't, so easy. You're so out of touch. Easy. You're so out of touch. <laughs> Why? The closest you get to the common person is when you run over them in your Rolls Royce with the window down. <laughs> I I imagine, don't. The driver does. I, I imagine Christmas is at your house where the whole family is dressed tonight. Christmas eye, Sitting around a piano. Yeah. S you're serenading them. Chestnuts. It's a harpsichord. Did, did, yeah. yes. did you turn... Did you get really upset at the new Mary Poppins or did you embrace it? I haven't seen it. Won't, I won't go anywhere with it. I, 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 I hate a re, a re I saw it. And? I saw it. Mm, I wasn't that blown away by it, Tomoshi. 
From Mary Poppins to Team Socials. Mm. Um, <laughs> I think the question was, when did you start having them? Before you started uh, singing Do a Deer. No, you, you, I would have had them at school in my last... Uh, Are they good at school? Last years. Well, not... No, they, they got better. Um, but, yeah, as an 18-year-old, you're not... You're not off doing carnage stuff, are you? Because you don't quite well, have don't the... Know. You know, 18, he was well, well, exactly. fairly loose at the gills. <laughs> what, what honestly, what's wrong with you tonight? I don't know. Never sitting there like I this. I've never, your whole professional demeanour is completely gone. Yeah, yeah, I think at 18, it's more about how, how much you can, how many can you actually get through before you're physically sick, what aren't we, you? What are we talking about here? Bit of, well, <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. um, lads, lads, lads. Yeah. Papawick, uh, Queggs. Did you do anything at Week? Uh, we used to have first theme party. My friend Robbie Thomas, um, who is an avid uh, listener of the show, who um, helps me sometimes with my teams, mm. he was the coolest boy on campus. And every uh, the last two years, he used to have a first theme party where uh, he'd get a, there'd be a whole load of girls from another school. We were only, what was it, must be uh, 12, 13. Yeah. And uh, a lot of games to spin the bottle and my first kiss. But this was your, just the first 15? Yeah, all the lads, yeah. yeah. Robbie's got an unbelievably soft mouth. I don't know why you're laughing. It's 2019. Fucking mm. do what you want. <laughs> Lucky none of them were transgender. You know what I mean? It's, it is what it is. Um, I, yes, yeah, so it was quite nice. All the girls' school. We had, we had a few girls' schools around there that came in. One of my mates, um, the girls weren't interested in won't name and shame him because he was a bit bigger gentleman, so he just sat in the corner. We used to, uh, Greg's <clears> had a, a thing called the Westcott Run, so it was like 25 pubs. So that was your challenge. When you get into Casanova's. Oh, they couldn't remember anything. Casanovas. See, so you don't get nightclubs and call that things like that, do you? Casanovas. No. Well, there's like. still that one inferno, isn't there? Uh, That's still where. Long may that G-spot. live forever. Yeah. I had a I was in a prep school um, side called Sandroid, which beat Port Regis. Oh. We were the first ever school to beat Port Regis, eight 0 because back in the days when tries were worth four, <laughs> and we got to push our rugby master into the swimming pool, fully clothed, as our celebration. Still again, one of my greatest. Still one of my greatest. Memories in sport. I mean, two things. One of the worst stories I've ever heard and the most middle class story I've ever heard. because... Why? What? Your wife wasn't playing, but she was at Port Regis, yeah. which is why it was worth saying. No, it still was a shit story. I don't <laughs> yeah. care. You've, like, you've defined it. I let myself down. Yeah, you have. You were doing so well, you've now been caught LBW. Yeah. I can just see editors just clipping that up. That's come yeah. straight out of the <laughs> Straight in the bin. No, sorry, he's going to keep that in. He's going to make keep any mistakes in today. He's going to be vicious because I mugged him off. Um... Well, do you want to know about actual team socials? Yeah, come on, let's get, the, get fucking, into it. Yeah, yeah I mean, we're, this is, we're having a slow build I mean, my first, this. my first team, proper team social was, um, I, had a, I had a few with um, uh, Maidenhead Rugby Club, where I started, went on a tour to, um, uh, fucking hell, where is it? France. You know, most people go to exotic locations. Where, where, where is it? <laughs> no, no, France. No, we went to, no, no, we went on tour and we ended up in, in Boulogne and Calais. Um, and it was a traumatic experience. I remember walking, I think my dad, it was a father's and son's trip. We were packed off to bed, all the fathers got steaming. And I remember opening the door and my father was dancing sort of naked on the tabletop and I just shocked me to the very core of my existence. So I just went back to bed and we never spoke of it again. <laughs> I've not been able to look Heart him in the eye boxed, for 20 yes. years. Um, but no, my proper team social was actually um, with uh, Wasps when we won the first... Is it from uh, that photo? Um, no, oh actually, it was the following God. year. That is a hanging social. That oh my God, what was I doing? I don't know, what are you doing? I don't know. Anyway, you have got your viewers. People He's listening to this so one. It's a hanging that, photo. I don't. He's know. That, so happy to be that close to Lawrence, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I love you. I love you, Lord. But no, it was when we they won the double uh, in two thousand and four. Was it? Um, we all we got Very good. We got invited out, um, and it was basically Hawaiian dress. So I was like, look. Um, you know, I wore a Hawaiian shirt, I wore flip-flops and jeans. They were, I got some new jeans for, for Christmas. Um, and I decided to wear them out for the very first time. Me and my mate, a guy called James Wellwood, turned up. And all the lads were like, that's not Hawaiian. I was like, it is. It's a Hawaiian shirt and flip-flops. And they went, nah, we're cutting them off. Fraser Waters just came over and st- basically stabbed me in the leg with a pair of scissors. No, it didn't luckily go into today. Carved me up into hot pants, but cut them way too short that he cut the pockets off and my boxer shorts were hanging out, right? <laughs> he then took my mate when those aren't flip-flops, you're not wearing shoes, and he was wearing handmade churchy shoes, right? They snipped him into flip-flops <laughs> right? but so badly that they had to gaffer tape them onto his feet. So things were going things were going from bad to worse. And then I woke up in an armchair in a girl's house in Fulham. Um, me? Me? So so with Mon, but I woke up in an armchair. Like this. With a brandy. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Just in a pair of hot pants. What happened is um I think someone like uh Kenny Logan or somebody later on pulled my pulled the box shorts off me. 
him and Paul Volley had ripped them off. So basically, I spent most of the time at Alan Partridge's. The boys were out the barracks most of the night, <laughs> yeah. walking along the... Perishable um, inside. Uh, full of, yeah, full of, full of Palace Road with the balls hanging out. And I woke up in a woman's living room. Um, I didn't obviously hadn't done anything, Chloe would be good to hear. <laughs> and, um, and I just passed out standing up and I had terrible tendonitis on my knees. And I was basically rigid. I was like wedged into this chair like whimpering. <laughs> Help! <laughs> Help me! And she started... Um, she started cooking uh, uh, bacon, which almost, you know, when you're a bit gippy in the morning, when you, you know. How that... old was this woman? Oh, she's not, I, I assume our age. There was a few of them in the flat. And then I basically got picked up by my mum, driven, driven home. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Driven home. What a finale. Driven home. I was like, I don't know where I am, Mum. I'm lost in Fulham. I didn't know where I am. Uh, and I basically got <laughs> that, as far that, that. Lost in Fulham. I mean, it's not exactly <laughs> outback. <laughs> Wait, for, a, for, for a boy, yeah, it was for me. Yeah. And he couldn't drive. So that was my first team social. Pretty good. Pretty good. Initiations? Um, yeah. End of season or beginning of no, season? Don't Gloucester no, shave you, heads. It's a, yeah, Gloucester shave heads or you've got to drink like... A gallon of milk, A it? gallon of milk, yeah. Is that hard? Yeah. Oh, you can eat eggs as well, but basically you can't. No one ever does it. You just vom. So you might as well just shave your head. The whole purpose is, is it doesn't really work, so you might as well. I, don't think, I think right. one person might have drunk the gal on the water. I think Doz did it, didn't he? It might have been Doz. <laughs> yeah. Um, what, a, what an accolade. <laughs> yeah. Stick that on his CV. <laughs> well, that's, I was going to say something really mean, Doz, or I wasn't going to say it. I'm not going to say so, it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, so we had, we had good work. We had good team socials early the ones on you were talking about before be. we started recording were very good yeah by the sound of it. yeah we, I, you reminded me of one of them sort of we, at bath normally you'd play your last game that that night would be an automatic straight out in your club suits or whatever and then that would roll into it were already pre-organized 10 o'clock at the club court session that would roll into a day and then you might roll into you know, a, a Monday or something. <laughs> or something. And there's a guy called Mark Gaby. Remember Mark Gaby? Yeah. So we went all out in suits. And there was a, we went through a phase where suit ripping was quite oh, a, God. massively, yeah, yeah. massively part. So you're on a night out in the middle of a nightclub, all wearing your suits. And suddenly it's like your pocket goes. The next thing, anyway, Gabe's was, so to put some background into it, Mark Gaby was given by his wife 20 pounds a day because he was, he was a, Australian Aboriginal who did like to go walk about. I'm not saying a stereotype, but he did literally. If in she get, if he had more money, yeah, he would just disappear. go and smash and disappear. Yeah, so he was allowed twenty twenty pounds. He ran out of petrol, God knows how many times, because he didn't have enough money to get home. Um, but he came to. So we went out on the Saturday night. I went hard and we ripped shirts. And anyway, it got to the point where he'd had his trousers ripped, he'd had his pants ripped off. Um, so he's basically walking around and all he was saying was, cock and balls, cock and balls. And then he came back to my, I lived with Bolsh, he came back to our house. And for some reason, Bolsh was going through a period of collecting antique swords. What? So he had like, <laughs> oh my he had, God. He had like three swords under his bed. Anyway, Gabe's has found this, at, and I'm talking, he was hammered. A samurai? No, not samurai. Like literally, they, they would they wouldn't cut anything. Right. But so he starts wielding <clears throat> this sword in our, in our flat, and our flat wasn't that big, so we had to like, get him out of there. Cause we, so we kicked him out. We saw him walking down the street with a cutlass, or had he no, put no, that back? We, we'd managed to get <laughs> wrestle that off him, and as he walked down the street, just going cock and balls. <laughs> so then, ten o'clock the next day. We have to, you have to be there if you're late you're screwed in a court session and he turns up in a paper suit so he got picked up by the coppers in the night and because they couldn't let him sleep in the cells with no like literally a suit shirt ripped open and <laughs> his trousers fucked so he's just walking around basically naked so he turned up and then did his all day in the paper suit that is remarkable. so professional that's great commitment as well actually I love, great I, love, I love stuff like that <clears throat> who is in charge of organising them is there a you're committee got, or is it a social yeah. committee? Yeah, yeah. team um, I, I, My favourite, yeah, Ben is a, a probably mostly part of the setup, but normally the captain uh, has a role. That, you know, every team kind of has a social committee in charge of it, of organising. Um, you know, the, the at normal social events throughout the the season and putting things on. My some of the stuff that we did. Um, uh, you know, I mean, I've done, never done so many more socials and stuff with with uh, one team as I have this year with Northampton. Not that I've been, not that I've been on the piss or anything. <laughs> That's been like. your contribution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I, I've not had them do it, but the, you know, they do brilliant things together as a team. 
which I think is really cool. When at Wasp, we had some crazy um, end of season stuff, unbelievably organised. I quite like it where it's it's some some real preparation. Get to the finish line. Yeah, yeah. So we we did one where we we it's kind of like a stag do, isn't it? You, yeah, got to no keep the stag alive. The yeah, what's the point? You let the stag just yeah. be absolutely annihilated. You want him to actually make. We one hundred percent. I mean, we had, we had one where we went. Um, we did a, a pub crawl up round uh, kind of uh, Leamington Spa, then got onto a train and went down London and went round there. But you had to you had an itinerary and you could get various points for different different things. So you know, d- guaranteed troublemaker points. Like you have to give flowers to a a woman with a with a husband or partner just to stir a bit of shit. You have to kiss a celebrity. So I kissed Sips, but apparently it didn't count. Oh. Um, and uh, good the, kisser. I was just on the lips. We didn't yeah. drop tongues. There's oh, a bit. Yeah. There's a bit. No need for it. Really, just said kiss. So they're brilliant. Depends say, how many you know. points you want to take home. Well, I mean, I just yeah. Not. I'm not <laughs> sure I'm that into it. But it was. You know, he's not really my type. To honestly, Sippy. Um, very good looking man, but not my not my vibe. Bad breath, you said. <laughs> I never said that. What well, old cat breath? No, I never said that. Um, I uh, so we so we did this thing, but it was things like there was a couple of things where you get like a hundred points for getting a tattoo and stuff. Some lads went and got tattooed. They just I love the commitment to things like that. Amazing. Yeah. Um, are there tactics? If you're if you're a young player, so say you are somebody's had a breakthrough year, like a, an Ollie Thorley or someone like that, do you have to be very careful at the end of the season? Do uh, yeah, I? D- I don't know nowadays, but yeah, you used to. Back in the day, because you had some proper old schoolers coming when you came. <coughs> yeah, that was the thing about Kevin Yates. So Kevin Yates was a stag nightmare for right. all you have to do is and Andy Nichol and John Mallet. Uh, John Mallet was quite funny what he did to him. Um, Go on. Well, he basically they went on a stag and he ended up tied to a lamppost naked. A lot of things end up naked, and yeah. then his wife had to come and rescue him. He was in the middle of bath. It's always, always funny. Attached to it. <laughs> I think Andy Nichol ended up on a train up to back up to Scotland without a wallet and naked, <laughs> oh, and he just couldn't do anything. And then Yatesy, everyone's like that when he gets married, and then he just pissed off to Canada and got married without a stag and everything. Oh, did he? That's such Get a cop out. But you, you do have to. You have to. Yeah. Have to there's a lot, lot of sometimes there's drink shuffling. You know, there's a few. There's a bit of avoidance. The old tactical chant. There's a lot. You have to be quite sensitive. The old Andy mindset. Hazel. Andy Hazel was called a squirrel with a squirrel because behind every plant pot that was near him there'd be a pint. <laughs> yeah, and he was just. Putting yeah. him away for a rainy day, you know, like, <laughs> always carry an empty pint yeah. glass on a night. I, I never forget on the on the uh, on the Lions tour. Uh, uh, obviously, Sam Walton d- didn't really drink, yeah. and uh, I, this is Ben Tier's funniest contribution. But like, he was having one beer, like Sam Walton, and he'd been having this one pint. He didn't think any of us were noticing, but it was the same pint he had for uh, hours. And then about four in the morning, the fire alarm went off in the house, in the whole hotel. Ben Tier just dropped straight into the WhatsApp group. Fucking hell, Sam Walton pints. <laughs> he's been nursed. He's finally caught fire and burnt the fuck. <laughs> Hotel round. I was like, ah, that is the captain. We're going to do him. Yeah. I thought it was genius. People nurse a lot of drinks, a lot of drink yeah. shuffling, a lot of few tacticals, a lot of guys who go home early, a lot of smoke bombs. Yeah. A lot of like, oh, I'm just going to go to the loo, I'll catch you later. Like, oh, oh, that one, yeah. One of my first team socials, we all dressed as Andy Goods. That was our, <laughs> was our, our um, uh, fancy dress for that year, it was just... all dressed as Goody, different stages of Goody, Lester Goody, <laughs> um, you know, <laughs> Sharp Goody. Every, every, everyone just with red lycra. Yeah, it's, we all had scullets. Yeah, I had like comedy scullets. Like, obviously, got the ball bit, but it grows out the back. Everything. The whole team looked amazing. Everyone went above and beyond. And I remember going too hard too early, got to about four o'clock, and I was found. I was like, <laughs> Chloe was like, Where are you? I was like, I'm here. Uh, <laughs> Drop a pin. To crawl into bed, try and sleep <clears throat> it off for two days. Who is the biggest dark horse? Who, who lies, who lay under the lights all season and then come end of season jamboree? Ripped it. To what pieces. language are you speaking? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, mean, I, I, fucking I, think, I, I think translating that is who sort of who, who, who came up on the rails at the end of season suddenly, two. Bang was a an all time hit at the end of season. Team Binjuice members straight away. Yeah, there's, but they've had a lot of practice yeah. throughout the year, haven't they? Um, I don't know who was great. Not at that. Jamie Gibson off the back of last. No, week. I tell you what. There's a few. There's a few guys that. You know, uh, there's a few characters as well that if got got on a team show, you'd run yeah. the other way. Go on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, I don't want to. Ne- I don't necessarily hand name grenades. Names. Pardon? Hand oh, grenades, a few of those. Oh my god, there's a lot of them in Bo- Boothie. Boothie, uh from Leicester, and then came to the bath. I wish I could tell you, but yeah. Steve, goose. Steve Booth. Yeah. Really? Oh my god. I mean, if you got Horrendous. caught talking to Craig Dowd. Red wine breath and a big lead finger mm. just in the corner telling you, you know, if you didn't work harder, you're like, ah, fucking stop poking <laughs> me, you big Kiwi nightmare. Um, Lancing you. Uh, I'm trying to think <clears throat> Robbie Fleck, complete 
personality change. Yeah, but yes. he did that on the field as well. James yeah. Brooks, he, he turned into Hank, a guy called Hank. Martin Purdy, Frank the Tank. Martin Purdy used to um, go to the church and he would uh, he like, halfway through just go completely mental and then just be running on the spot. He'd, he'd he was like one had one of those first fitness watches and he'd set it and he'd be doing a fat burner <laughs> in the thing. And if he came up, he'd go mental. He'd be like, "What are you doing? I'm doing a fat burner." He'd be on the, running on the spot. For 20 minutes. <laughs> but like, but this what are you doing? This has church, not hallelujah. Not hallelujah, Praying church. And they don't let you do that in, ch- in church, unfortunately. Um, uh, we, did, we did a good one in because uh, obviously Rory's brother is... Um, Who's calling? Yeah, Sean Flanagan. Oh, um, Sean. I'll speak to you soon, Sean. Uh, he, we did one in... Because Mo- uh, Rory's brother, Gregor, is, is behind Morph Suits. Roy Lawson. Yeah. yeah. So we did one in Morph Suits, which... It's great because you think that no one can see who you are cause if you if you really stick to it and you drink through the yeah. thing, but you obviously have to go out with a bum bag, which makes you look weird to start off with because you don't have pockets. <laughs> but then if you end up having like a fight, then it gets ripped off quite easy. And Why would you, you do that? that? Well, I don't know. We ended up, I, I don't know. We ended Brawling. up at Cinderford Rugby Club and it just turned it out into a... All out brawl. Yeah, pretty much. It, With each other, though, so it was all right. In, in, not in, as in a bad brawl, as in yeah. proper fisticuffs. Just, but a, just a wrestle rolling. for some reason. <laughs> we had um, we had a, a fancy dress one where, again when, when Wass had, had won something and uh, people told you what you had to come as. And Pete Richards and somebody else came as um, uh, tennis players. He obviously looked like Beyond Ball. <laughs> yeah. And, good uh, hair. He had yeah. good hair. And uh, Aon Lorindy, I think, was uh, Venus Williams. Um <laughs> <laughs> And Said carefully, uh, and I um, and I was told I had to go as Lawrence, so uh, I had a full Lawrence mask on. Obviously, a bald lid went with it, um, <laughs> and some of his k- kit that he'd very kindly given me when I'd badgered him as a young player. And I remember stopping traffic in, on a, on a Saturday afternoon in the middle of the lull, giving it the big bravado like, "Bar, oh, I'll bring you tools." Absolutely, stop there. People are honking my horn just so Pete Richards and Ella really could play tennis, and they were playing tennis in the middle of that uh, outside. Used to be an all bar one in the middle of that um, Fulham Palace Road or King's Road, sorry, uh, playing tennis in the middle of the street while people are getting out of their cars, ranting, and I was going around with Lowell, going, "Get in your car, you man! Get in your car!" <laughs> they yeah. went through phases after at sort of end of seasons, didn't they? So they they always involved something at the club, and then they all then it went through a phase of always including the church. Yeah. Like literally, you go to the church on NC Bastion, there'd be four clubs there, and then you just turn into the mother of all uh, things. And then into it's the like place. sort of lava flowing into one big uh, pot, yeah, there, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, and then, then the ch- uh, then the ship became one. Oh, mate. Yeah. And the ship just uh, turned into an absolute. We did one. Of, we <laughs> we are broadcasting to such a sort of narrow audience. Yeah, 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 so I'm yeah, going, yeah. tick, tick, slowly yeah. pony for the last yeah, pint. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, the one that ship was there uh, after we'd we'd played London Irish the day before, and Jim Hamilton and Pla- Placey had had that huge dust yeah, up yeah, yeah. and literally it almost carried on because <sighs> suddenly Beaver t- Beaver turned up from somewhere. Um, McDonald. Yeah, Stephen McDonald. Stephen Donald. Stephen Donald. Stephen Donald. <laughs> what do I call him? Donald. Donald. Right, I've just McDonald. made him. I've just made him. Just made him Scottish. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he Beaver <clears throat> could drink, and I remember him tackling me in the middle of a dual carriageway, and I was like, Beaver, this doesn't really seem like a good idea to me. <laughs> but that's all changed now, Nick, because the, the advent of camera phones and all that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> tell you, I'll tell you one story. It was so funny because one of the lads in uh, in. Uh, obviously, McDonald's is a ship opposite a uh, McDonald's opposite ships the ship, yeah. um, and we obviously got lads gone in there. And obviously, a few of these characters get too loose. And I, I, I'm always um, I don't ever lose my memory. I'm always pretty much the same. Love and not a fighter. Yeah, uh, yeah, pretty fighter? much. Fighter? No, no, no. Not Have you really. ever been a brawler? Not really. I don't know. Over, over. Have you ever the... been a brawler? Ever? No, I'm not really. I don't really get. Uh, really... Once when I was 18, maybe. Accidentally, I don't really get. I don't really get like uh, like that. To honest you, I'm just quite. I'm pretty much similar, just slightly yeah. louder or slightly quieter depending on how drunk I am. Yeah. Um, but one of the lads was in McDonald's, and these two people were sitting down. And obviously, they were queuing up, and one of the lads obviously got bored, <laughs> decided just to reach over, start eating this bloke's chicken nuggets, <laughs> and this guy shot up and was like. Um, how dare you? And you knew exactly who he was. How dare you? You know, I, uh, you know, I, I, re- you know, really respected you. The bloke was like, he just, he just like, sharp, mate. And he started eating his burger. So it was, it was getting from worse. So I think um, uh, our club captain at the time was a, was a, is an England player. He stepped in. And it was like, uh, listen, I'm really sorry. And the bloke was like, and you? I used to respect you. And everything else. <laughs> So it all kicked off, right? Because then I think the bloke who'd eaten all the food just started throwing chips at the guy's food. He did, uh, getting worse and worse and worse. 
Um, and so obviously everyone, about everyone it. then went to apologise, saying, listen, we're really sorry, we'll buy you a burger, we'll buy you everything, replace me. Like, no, I don't want it. That bloke then wrote a, 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 an angry letter to the club. Like, I've never been more embarrassed in my life. I was assaulted by, you know, <laughs> you, know you stole your... This, these kind of values. How long ago was this? Uh, a while ago. Um, so we nicknamed the player the Hamburger. Hamburglar. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he had to come at the end to see his social. The next year was the Hamburglar from the McDonald's target. <laughs> you know, he's the one with like, the swag yeah, and the black exactly. and white pants. Yeah. Um, but the bloke, yeah, the bloke came in and I wanted a one-on-one with the players and wanted them to apologise. But then you get really nausea, people like that. I remember like, another player um, got off a bus and weed against a tree and... Um, these, these people wrote to the club going that uh, one of your players exposed themselves in front of our children and, uh, uh, and us. It's like, he was weeing behind a tree and they're like, what? you know, they all, our children wanted to know why he was weeing, you know, what, what, it, what, what he was doing. <laughs> Um, could we have some? You know, I think a, a pair of season tickets would probably you know, cover, 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 cover the thing. It's well like, well I'm like, I wouldn't. Have, you know, obviously the very fact they offered to pay for his burger and then you know, the bloke was weeing behind a tree. I don't think there's anything to talk about. But talking about Donalds, were you there the night Danny Grucock and Stan Collymore? Yeah. Yes. In Ireland. Yeah. Yeah. What do you want to know? Any detail? Well, no. It goes into a bit of sort of not a good story. But, well, it, he had a book coming out. And I think he obviously knew that he he took a beat. Well, he took a beating up just to sell his book, I think. So there was something that went on that I don't really want That's to talk a, about. I'd rather go on Good Morning uh, Britain, I think, and yeah, check what happened. And, about. Then, and then he and then all the boys went to McDonald's on the walk home, and he stood outside, banged on the door, and went, "Let's be having you." And there was five other lads, and it, and his anger was with Robbie Fleck, and. And so, so he just the boys went out and said so, okay, <laughs> and then walked off. Yeah, but he, yeah, it was. Not, okay. But, but, yeah, yeah. but <clears throat> as, as his career shows, he hasn't always no, shown himself he in light. Up, but he? particular, he walks line. a very fine line. Yeah, I kind of think the, 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 the landscape's changed now. I, 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 any social, it's got to be out the way of of anyone yeah. really. You know, we. I mean, we actually, you know, we the guys that walk, they hired a stag do boat on a, on a on a. On a river, and it still ended yeah. badly, uh, even though nothing happened. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It was only bit, because what happens is you get people. What were who you think, accused of on that boat? Oh, oh. Uh, I mean, according to the people there, it was, it was a gay sex orgy we were having. <laughs> Genuinely, when you read the brief, it was this whole load of stuff that was just ridiculous. And but the problem is there was some uh, Walter Mitty slash uh, you know no win no fee lawyer who, who was a fantasy. He reckons he looked after John Terry as an agent. Started like d- demanding millions of pounds worth of compensation for for nothing, it's the genuine. And it's things like that. Is, you were club captain. Yeah, I was never club captain again. I'm not saying it's anything to do with it, <laughs> but it 100 percent was. Even though I did nothing. Um, it has changed a bit. Genuinely. Yeah. You're quite pissed off about that. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, that's another story for another. I say it with the autobiography. Um, can, you, can you stop saving all your stories for the autobiography? No, 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 it's a fucking what? podcast. We do. We do YouTube it show. It is. But I, we do tell it. But no. But so that 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 that's what happened with uh, with that. And, and the problem is now is that everyone wants to cash in. So I I, I always recommend that socials are fun, but you can't legislate because there, there are some huge hand grenades that just can't. Can't be controlled, and and you know it's very it's very hard to do that. So I think best to take it out <coughs> in a private room. Like we, um, the best thing we ever did with England team was had security, we had uh, security with us all the time, because yeah. you know like, I, I remember I was walking to a dinner in um in in Manchester in the middle of the day, and a student came out of a bar with like sick on his shoes and sick on him, and he looked at me and was and I looked at him, what the fuck do you want? And I just went <laughs> laughed, <laughs> walked off. He came running up behind me. I didn't see it. And tried to fucking hit me in the back of the head, and our security team literally swooped in, boom, threw him, smashed mm. him, folded him up, and, and folded him up like a travel mat, and popped him away. Um, so I, 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 any team now got to have security because you've got to have something like an independent that, witness. You see that with Arnie? Well, yeah, <laughs> that guy yeah. drop kicks him in the back. <laughs> didn't even move, though, did it? he? No, he literally what didn't move. this? You've not seen it? No. no. Like Arnie Schwarzenegger was doing whether it was a personal appearance in Africa or something, and he's there signing autographs, <laughs> and some kid does a flying two foot. Like super kick to his back, and then he gets bundled by you, his. You, you see, like, see that, so Arnie's like on his own phone and he's recording a girl skipping, and you see him turn back, and then you see him like fall forward, and you think, oh my god, Arnie's been folded up. And you see the reverse shot, and his kids run up, or his bloke run up, two foot drop kick, and Arnie's literally gone, 
and hardly moved, and the kid's folded, <laughs> folded back on back himself. <laughs> and then his ginormous sort of bouncers have just got and grabbed him, and this guy's gone, OK. Oh, but fair, he, body, he literally body-checked him a little bit, but, like, it should have... <laughs> how hard he hit him, if it hit you, you'd be through, you'd be into next week, you'd be fucked, you'd be gone. Your head would still be in the Don't same place, though. No, I do, I might have fully underestimate you <laughs> at all times. Like, honestly, I, you know... Don't look at don't give me evils. You're you're about as a you're you're you are you're a dandy and a cad and a bounder. You get you're like Lord Percy out of Blackadder. I've told you this. The best thing about end of season I, dudes is where the the wives actually just realise that they're not going to see you for three days mm. and they buy into it. Really? Yeah, it's great. It's the only, it's only time where they just go. Is there a divide between those whose wives say "Have a lovely time, see you next week" and those whose wives say "I want you to check in every twenty minutes and I need to know where you are and I want your phone." Can we go there or not? Or is this dangerous territory? No, no you can't go there. No, because I think I think yeah, some are, some aren't. But but do you notice it when you're out and about that there are well, those no, who, normally who feel the court, the real normally, being wound in normally, faster than the rest? They should know that your your, court, your phones are probably in the middle of somewhere in a bag, yeah. and it's always yeah. the River. first phone that if the first phone that rings, you're going to get fined if it's your missus, mm. or if it rings anyway. But then if it then there'll be another fine if you miss first missus to ring so there should be under strict instruction please don't ring me because she's just going to end up making sure that we I'm played we played done. a game where if you if you picked out your phone at the dinner table or picked out your phone when you're on the piss uh the lads could call you on it and they got to scroll through your contacts yeah say stop and and any contact they stop you yeah. can send them anything yeah you know you'd send them and call anything like you see in the lions videos if you get fined you have to call up and like i start asking the coach for like can i be captain can i get a pay rise whatever good. they whatever they decide um <laughs> Dangerous. It's a danger. Mm. You, you are a dangerous breed to hang around with. No, yeah, I mean they're, de- they're definitely tamer now than what they yeah. used to be. I think it has to be though. I think it has to be. I think it's just that people, ha- uh, people's perception of things. Uh, you, you just have to be very careful, and you know, also, it all depends. You've got varying levels of of. Um, kind of fame within teams now, haven't you? you know, with the advent of yes. kind of social media. So you've got some loose cannon that's just been on the block for five minutes. So if he got caught doing everyone like who? And you've got some more well-known people that just got associated with anything. So you've got that kind of fine balancing act. But um, Those that get hit by a bus and end up on the front page of the papers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sippy, I love he got run over by a bus. It's so <laughs> professional. Uh, of all the things, you see the front of the bus as well? Like, it's smangled. You know, I know, I know. Uh, obviously, it was an unfortunate thing. He was lucky, lucky to... <laughs> Lovely caveat. Lovely, yeah. Yeah. Lovely little asterisk to that. Though, yeah. People are like going, oh, fucking hell. I puked up. I got run over by a bus. <laughs> you win. You win. Just let you know where you are. You win. Yeah. You're watching the House of Rugby on Joe. Together with Guinness. Still to come, we'll have our player of the season. Will we? Will we? <laughs> and the boys will tackle a socials-related perfect pour. First, though, here's something else that you might like from Joe. Where are you there? Here's something else you might like from Joe. Cheers, Alex. Uh, I'm Chris Lloyd. This is Carl Frampton eating his way slowly towards the middleweight division. Uh, we're going to be here every Thursday talking about the big issues in boxing, getting stuck in uh, with, spe- uh, with special guests, behind-the-scenes interviews, um, and, of course, snacks as well. Um, tune in every Thursday, podcast and on YouTube. Thank you very much indeed, Chris. Uh, this week's show is with Carl as he starts training camp ahead of his comeback fight later this summer. And next week, the boys are going to be in New York with Anthony Joshua before AJ fights Andy Ruiz in Madison Square Garden. Also next week, uh, sees the launch of Swanee's Cricket Show. We've got a cricket brother to come, or sister. Uh, Graham Swan and Nick Bright giving the House of Rugby treatment during the World Cup and the Ashes. Lots of fun, great guests, music. Uh, apparently think TFI for cricket. Do so get involved in that if you want like to. Swan is a great lad. He He's is. got some stories. Yes. Cricket Quite boys. a show. Cr- cricket boys have just as many stories, if not worse stories. I think lads. some of them might go further. Yeah, uh, for sure. When you're on tour for, just imagine being on tour for like four months. Was it yeah. something like on tour for like 300 days yeah. a year? Yeah. But also you can play harder and get away with it more uh, yeah. easily. Yeah. I think. I just think your fitness levels are quite tested. Are uh, you good at cricket? Uh, not really. Military medium? Uh, medium quick. Medium quick, are you? Yeah. Where would you come into bat? Uh, not a great bat. Six. Seven? Six, seven. Bizarrely, I, I, I used to bowl. Um, what? Like fast. <laughs> Wide. Wide. Um, <laughs> weirdly <laughs> nice. I used to bowl by. All, all the criticism that I get mugged off on this show with my hands, I, I was very slip, actually. Were you? Yeah. And actually, like wicket keeper, I can't throw anymore because you know when you do too many weights. Of course, you were going to wicket keeper. You had the huge wet yeah. hands. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, fine, whatever. I was it was ideal it. because you actually missed with everything. But yeah, it just caught. I just yeah. had a big net, and I went like, like spider. Shh, just went into it. <laughs> um, but now I can't throw anymore, so I have to no, be close. I can't throw. Can you bat? 
I'd love not to brilliant, see that. Not brilliantly, but I had a go. My best was 116 not out, 12 sixes. What? Yeah, that was my best ever score. Was, was that for Papa Wicks at 11? No, four, that was for Wellington College third, I think. Was it? Yeah, but I'll take that. 20 oh, metres circumference good. boundary. I was once in a prep school side that was all out for seven. I think you said that last time. Have I done time, that last actually? time? Yes. Am I repeating uh, myself already? Yeah. I'm getting around. Thank, thank you, producer Sai. Producer size produced a bat. Cookerborough, is it? Cookerborough. Do you know what I always wanted, right? I always genuinely wanted the one bat I never got. It was called a Grey, Grey Nichols Diner Drive. Yes. That's what I was that the one that had the, it had the yeah. two grooves yeah, down yeah, the back? Yeah, yeah. I, I always that. wanted the Diner Drive and I never got it. I think it. Alan Lamb had a Diner Drive, didn't he? Sure he did. I, I was watching, there was a comparison of whether it was Lara had hit his 400 or whatever. And yeah. then... 500 and Yeah, 501. And then the other bat, and it was about his bat was about that wide, and then the next bat was yeah. about that thick. Basically, if you make contact with it, it's flying off at some rate. Yeah, but the bats were at the time were a Cookerborough bubble, yeah. a, 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 a yeah, Grey Nichols Diner Drive, and a yeah. G Gun and More something with it yeah. with a thing. But I always wanted a Diner Drive. I badgered my dad about it. And I got, I think I got a knockoff one. I got like a, a Ryan arrive or a, a, a Grey Mickles. It's like, Dad, this looks like you have it's not quite the same. So made of pure plywood. Yeah, I was like, Dad, this doesn't look like you. Look like you've made it in. That is snapped. Sergio Giorgini. <laughs> Sergio Tuscini, isn't it? The one from uh, the business. I love that one. Dozza went on a, on, a, on, a, on a tour with that actually. With what? Wearing Sergio Tuscini, they, they had to go on a tour, and he turned up on a joint boys' holiday dressed in all that gear, and he'd vetoed his balls, and he'd uh, done it too long, and he was unable to walk for a while. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the um, basics of vetoing. The basics of vetoing. He didn't follow the instructions, leave it on for five minutes, he left it on for ten minutes, <laughs> melted his testicle clay off. <laughs> Yeah. Wearing Sergio Shashini, like, real tight sh those uh, shorts. It's like silly putty, bleeding. Dissolving. <laughs> um, post, <coughs> post end of season do, yeah. the holidays. Yeah. How quickly do you get out of town? Oh, uh, well, ASAP, really. Because, um, you know, we never used to have the mandatory. It was, it was last year, I mean, it obviously didn't do much good, but it um, was the first time I'd ever had my full allocation of holiday. Ever for five weeks, and they're like, "Would you like to come in a week early?" I was like, "Absolutely not," because what happens is, since the RPA brought it in, all the clubs uh, and some some other clubs are really bad at this. And I used to get really fucked off about it when we had the senior players meetings because you're supposed to have five weeks mandatory holiday. You're supposed to have three weeks full rest and two weeks where you're supposed to train. But every club would go. Do you want to, uh, you know, well, you know, if you, other lads are coming in, you don't have to, but everyone else is going, calling out, going, are you yeah. going in? They're like, yeah, well, so and so's going, in, so I've got to go in. So you all end up having three weeks and suddenly be in the club for two weeks. And they're like, oh, we'll give you another week later on. I, I was like, no, I'm having it. Because every, uh, every other holiday... they never give you that week. So, I, I got, so Damien Hobley wrote me when I said, fuck the RPA. About the fact that I, we never had that when I was playing. I know that you're doing a very good job, Damien. Yeah. Um, you never, uh, called, me about, you never called me about the rivalry, did he? The business that Dylan and I... I'm not up. sure he's terribly worried about the rivalry. Well, he fucking wants to be because uh, he's going to be out of a job. I've had, I've had contacts with some billionaire backers. You really want to back me in deals? <laughs> it's going to be an amazing thing. We have a London club. You, you wouldn't be allowed in. But we'll, I don't want to be in. We'll look at, we will do. You won't have access to anything. I don't want access you to do. anything. You do. You need access. Mate, you're driving around a tube at the moment, unemployed, making up shit lyrics. <laughs> Sloop John B. <laughs> Sloop John B. So Damien Hopley wants to watch his back because we're coming for him. I'm CEO. CEO of, I don't know what we've called ourselves yet. Yeah, as I said, I'm not sure Hoppers is on that, necessarily on that sentence, sleep. I think Hoppers is quite safe. Yeah. He was um, very irritated with you, though, because... Yeah, I apologise, Hoppers. I, I was just saying back in the day we didn't have that, but obviously now we do. Um, yes. And But, but yeah, we, uh, but it all depends. We used to literally do a tour every summer, so you never could jump straight on from whenever you finished. Best rugby holiday. You're going to mean, back no to Vegas. Thing. What do you mean rugby? Well, rugby, rugby holiday. holiday. <laughs> Best holiday. <laughs> with worst, rugby my worst holiday friends. ever would be a rugby, yeah, a rugby holiday. holiday. Um, Otherwise, known as a I think so. So, uh, we, so, so basically, you're saying best destination for holiday or best well, holiday you've had. Group of guys well, you went I, with. I, I tell you the best. I mean, so so we basically um, we were on this tour to Australia, and uh, this is where. So I, you know, there's no TRX. Those, those uh, suspension training basically devices. Basically hanging off the door frame or whatever. <laughs> yeah, were you on that tour for that? Yeah. So basically, we, Doz and I got started sharing a room. It was one of, one of his first tours. And uh, Doz had packed his TRX, right? So we planned that as soon as Australia finished, we, obviously Australia's, you know, LA's halfway. So we go from Australia, as soon as the tour finished, to LA, uh, go LA to Vegas, yeah. and, then, and then get the London leg what, back. What year was this? Uh, 2010. Okay. Yeah, 
It was that mega tour. Uh, Remember, so we, won, we, 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 won, we beat Australia. So, yeah, so Ben Young scored, didn't he? Yes. yes. But it was yeah. weird thing was... Chris we, Ashton. Yeah. We then had to go to... Um, it was like two games in Australia. He doesn't remember that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had two, two, um, two games against Australia and then went to, had to go to Napier, which is described as a retirement village of New Zealand. And I'm like, New Zealand's not the most happening place <laughs> of all. So imagine what Napier was like. Heart rate of 36. And that's where Ugo Monia, who, who, who tr like played a combined thing of 30 seconds, was supposed to go into Napier and suddenly the old hamstring went. And... Uh, and, and all the boys were like mugging him oh, off and yeah. abusing him. Um, so we so we obviously had decided that we were going to go to Vegas. So obviously at that point in the season, your, all your training is all about trying to get super lean. So we had this TRX in the door and the lads were walking past. They could just see this door going... <laughs> and lads were like walking past going, what the fuck is going on in this room? And they could just hear this house music like... <laughs> <laughs> Right, and I reckon, so Doz and I on the other side of it doing an in-room in, in workout we're doing every day in our boxer shorts, fucking tunes pumping, pissing with sweat. I hadn't eaten a carb in three weeks. <laughs> like, Forgoing your international career oh, to look good for a week in yeah, Vegas. 100%, right? Yeah. And, um, and honestly, the lads like knocking on the door going, what's happening? You, apparently they heard this fucking doors, the music went off, everything was disassembled and the lads like opened the door, we're like, pissing sweat like, <laughs> pretending to watch TV. They're like, what are you doing in here? We're like, nothing. They're like, what are you doing? Like, no, and they, and Basically, TRX have an attachment that you put over that locks into the door. Yeah. And they were like, what's that hanging off the back of the door? I was like, oh, it must come with the hotel. And they were like, what have you boys been doing? We're like, okay, we've been TRXing. So we got so much abuse because we'd spent the whole time doing in-room workouts. <laughs> but we were in unbelievable that, shape. Quick five questions. Um, the greatest tourist you've ever known or end of season? Oh, are you doing it individually? Or you do it well, together? You, can, you spit it out. This is a quite good question, so you haven't got to. Um, Leonard. No, well. Not Leonard, Leonard is a great... Obviously, end of season. Trevor Leota would be an yeah. unbelievable. Shaws is quite good. Yeah. Shaws is quite good, Simon Shaw. Okay. Um, ever that's found yourself in a bad that's situation? That's all longevity, though. Yeah. So. Ever found yourself in a bad situation? Yes, many. <laughs> Details? Waking up on top of a police car? Nice. Travelling? Or... <laughs> <laughs> that would be impressive. That would be amazing. Um, before we get to the perfect pour, the boys are going to choose... That. This is... God help us. The boys are going to choose their players of the season. They are going to give you two names and we'll stick them across our social channels and you can vote for the winner. Do get involved. You ready? Yep. You were in a real bait about this before we started recording. <laughs> I don't no one get cares. No one cares. Yeah. James, your nominee, please. Uh, Kobus Reinach. Good shout. Oh, I've got to pick someone else. You always come through at the last. I've got to pick someone Tens. else. You? Uh, aren't we picking two? One each, which makes two, oh. and then they will decide. Oh. Well, I'll go sips then. Okay. Danny Cipriani. Um, Kobus Ronak, discuss. Just um, not as a player, as a person and a teammate and a yeah, a what, really what good guy. Many years, uh, uh, he's one of those, we did a. Um, it's one of those things where the S and C at Saints they disguised a full day of fitness testing as an NFL draft day. You're like, if you show rugby players <laughs> something shiny and like wrap it up, everyone's like, oh my god, this isn't fitness testing. This is an NFL playoffs thing. And I was walking around going, it's bullshit. <laughs> this is and they're like, they're like, if you're not going to take part, Sap. if you're not, not going to take it seriously, James, you can fuck off. I'm like, I am taking it seriously, but don't pretend this is anything but a fitness test. And they're like, the, the mass test. The, the the three cone test so that's agility yeah. the speed that's sprinting but Cobus uh, on that thing was unbelievable like pound for pound fast powerful strong everything an incredible athlete ripped to fuck looks like a, a character from um, Team America same eyebrows <laughs> and, uh, so when you check him out honestly yeah, he's got a strong eyebrow a game. strong eyebrow game he, and he looks like a puppet um, and he absolutely destroyed that. So I was blown away by how quick he was. And then to see him play, uh, I knew he was like a gnarly, aggressive South African. They all are pretty aggressive. Uh, it's a stereotype. It's true, really. Yeah. If it's true, then it's true. Um, and he, uh, you know, when he played, he, he sort of just was always kind of real physical. And he just got so many intercepts. But his speed, did you see him on the weekend? Yeah. Mate, he's like wheels Jeez, for days. Like, really people was. are trying to catch him and he just keeps going. Yeah. He, he, but even the other day, he beat around like a 10, 10 something. 10 metres per second or something, 10.5 metres per second, I think. I might, I might put too much, it was certainly 10 something, but that's amazing at this time of the season. Good case for Cobus. Um, Daniel Cipriani. Well, I, I think for Gloucester, he's just been what we needed. Um, I think, I think Johan Ackerman's come in and done an amazing job <clears throat> in terms of just giving the club, uh, like all he wants to do is play from everywhere. And with Billy Burns sort of last year and the year before, Billy just did that, whereas yeah. you sort of needed someone to go, well, hang on, I don't really want to do that there, I don't really want to do that there, but I'll do it where I want to do it. And that's what Sips has come in and done and been perfect for. And 
you know, he's Mr. Highlight Reel, isn't he? Cool. In terms of one handed slap passes and crazy things. Hoofing it across the field. Yeah. Nice flat drive. Good. Um, you decide, Cipriani or Reinach. Your Guinness made of more Champions Cup player of the season. Champions Cup? Yes, you As weren't in it this year. You were in the <laughs> Challenge Cup. Oh. But it's the competition you won many years ago. Um, <coughs> I'd go with the Saracen. Yeah. Who won yeah. the competition. Well, there's quite a few Saracens. Yeah, do, I'm going to go with um, Billy V. Good. Because I thought that, I know he's been, he was had a few injuries, but actually I thought he was very, very good, especially in that final. <laughs> <laughs> Tick. Yep. Well, I had two, but then... If you're only going to give me a choice of one, you obviously have to have Alex Good in there, not only for his ability to play, but then his post-match celebrations will be go down as legend. Yeah. He goes into every but you know. Clickbait my other top one 10. was the the French winger Pernau or whatever he's called. Alan Pernau, um, um, not Dem Dem Damien Pernau. Damien Pernau, son of Alan Pernau. Yeah, he he was. I, he was he did. Yeah, he, he played very well, didn't he? Yeah. Um, two good nominees. So you've gone with Alex Good and you've gone yeah. with Billy V. The, the positive is actually I've got a, my I'm, I'm going to start watching a lot more rugby now that I've finished. Are you? So, yeah, yeah. I'm going to get apparently Opta can if anyone watches this from Opta hook me up so I can watch games. On a yeah, Monday. I would like that too. Yeah, are you being serious? Really good. Yeah, genuine. I'm gonna Why? Say, well, if I'm going to do stuff in rugby, I might as well start watching and actually know yeah. what's going on. This is going so well because we don't talk about rugby. No, I don't want to talk about rugby here. I'm going to, well, for my other kind of different jobs. I mean, this is basically like? lip service. Just basically. Is saying like I'm available yeah, okay. uh, yeah. <laughs> putting advertisement out this is the last show so I, I'd like a drum roll for our third yes. and final I'd like to I'd the, like to hear uh, the nominees <laughs> the nominees are in Nominee for, for the this. Guinness made of more yeah. Pro 14 player of the season yeah Bill Matter are oh, you wanker hold because he's a, he's a back row he's incredible Fijian unbelievable offloads probably how the... much Pro 14 have you watched this year James uh, a lot uh, <laughs> <what's>, <laughs> a lot what stood out for you um how rainy it was, <laughs> <laughs> and also how all the Welsh regions almost got folded up. See, current affairs, but they didn't, and they won the Grand Slam. So, well, the Welsh regions didn't. Yeah, yeah. No, um, well, I mean all the Welsh. And Bill Matter and... poss possibly the greatest offload. Yes, ever. Yeah, definitely offload of the season against Toulon, wasn't it? It he's, was. Where he's gone, something like it's quite extraordinary. It's sort of uh, it's the physics. Like. Yeah. Um, um, Mike T uh, I'm going to go with Adam Hastings I'm always going to stick with yeah. a uh... that was my close second <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, no, we're going to have to that out why he's a Scottish internationalist I haven't played for a year. I don't know anything. Obviously, being they moves on fast. I'm joking. Asta, I'm joking. So, asked to fill in for Finn Russell numerous times and done a very good job and uh, is of the Finn Russell elk mm. um, loose. But can I just caveat that? By the way, I was completely joking. Please don't Scottish <laughs> people get really angry. How arrogant are you? You're shit. It's fine. I was being tongue in cheek. It's called a joke. Well, yeah, but it's quite it's quite hard to watch Pro 14 now eh? unless you want to buy. Whatever channel Premier I Sports. Want. Premier Sports. What's yeah. Premier Sports? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, I'm being serious. What is Premier Sports? The ones that took my job. Yeah. Did they? Well, they took the yeah. rights. Which, yeah. yeah, they took the rights off Sky. Who are Premier they? Sports? Legitimately. They're, well, they're a broadcaster. Yeah. What, like a Sky, BT Sport, and then Premier yeah. Sports? Yeah. yeah. What, do you need the presenter? <laughs> <laughs> I'm willing to do it, Premier Sports. Um, I had uh, a bit of Jonas Saquon. They, they normally go for people who have played in a Pro 14. Senior league, you know, you I went signed for the Ospreys. I went down there, met everyone. I'm going to talk about, but I signed for Stad and said I would have been the only English so player in the world. You Wales. still haven't played. Yeah. I went down there, I made the effort. <laughs> I, I walked out, I met everyone. I paid my six pounds yeah. forty. Oh, I did. I went. Did you do the sort of tour in front of the crowd? There wasn't a crowd. We were trying to keep it low key. But I went and met everyone at the Ospreys. Looked round, fantastic setup. It was when they had that kind of superstar. Is that team. when they had the yeah. um, Marty Holler the and tanning booth in the changing rooms? <laughs> the <laughs> the era, no, no, I think they kept me well away from that. But no, I was going to sign for the Ospreys, but then I decided to go Stad. So I would, no, have, I would have done, literally done all of it, but sadly not. Better kit at Stad. But I do know who Adam Hastings is, by the way. Again, just reiterate that, because I don't want any angry Scottish people. Just free, I won't read the comments anyway, but just in case you thought that you were that bothered about I'll it. I'll read them and pass them on. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> Please don't. So actually, week's... we've pulled that through a little bit. Yeah, no, we smashed it, not we? How the hell you flagged that? I do not have. know. Oh my God. It's time for this week's Guinness. Ding! Perfect pool. A weekly test oh, in 119.5 so, seconds. So this that's is the one that we actually know nothing about. This, again, because the, 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 past, the past has worked so well when we don't know anything about what you're about to ask us. Yes. If you've been away for a couple of weeks, 
A, where have you been? And B, we've essentially stolen the idea from Joe's boxing show, TK. All right, Premier Sports. No, sadly not. Well, no, that's the problem. Point. That's the point. That was my joke. You're not even Premier Sports, mate, and no one's heard of Premier Sports? No, no. Except I would happily work for you. <laughs> <laughs> Slip your business card. Um, how do we play this? It's a word association go- game, even. The Ooh. first thing that comes into your head on the subject of it's team socials. Breaks friendships. This yeah. Time. Um, are you ready? Who'd yeah. like to go first this week? Uh, James. Can James. Can go first. Go first. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three, go. Uh, pick three players you'd take on the ultimate team social. Uh, Richard Burkett, uh, Paul Doran Jones, Mike Tindall. Pick three players you would never take on a team um, social. Or Jamie Gibson, uh, Chris Halafia, um, and um, fuck, who else would I not take? Uh, Tim Payne. No, no, it's oh, harsh. I forget. I'd love to go with Taylor. Who else would I take? Uh, Johnny Wilkinson. <laughs> oh, my God. No, You're, all the adoration you built up in your retirement has just gone. One pinprick. Um, unlikeliest social legend? Um, Joe Worsley. Very nice. Should wives and girlfriends be allowed on team socials? No. Pick your perfect team social game. Um, oh, this one. I don't know what it's called. Zumbe Zumbe. All about. Hask, hask. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Zumbe Zumbe. Or like, good. Zumbe Zumbe. Zumbe Zumbe. Zumbe 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 Zumbe. Yeah, that shit like that. Yes, yeah, good. Oh. That. Um, nightclubs. Uh, no, I prefer bars. Team bonding. Uh, every time. Sh- I thought I was going to read sleep. I was going to read sheep, but it says sleep. Uh, yeah, if you can get it in, key. I love that. You've gone into sort of like premier mode, you know, like my, not like. What do you mean premier mode? Like, you know, re- you know your books, fitness books. Yeah, no, it's true. It, the, the, everyone who goes on tour goes, eating, cheating absolutely isn't. Getting a sleep where you can is key. I mean, some of the lads went on, on a stag do uh, recently. I wasn't there. And lads were, were going back to the room for a, a, a nap. <laughs> and like drinking iced teas. It's like, lads, you've completely misjudged this stag do. Um, Michael, are you ready? Yeah. You've been making notes. Well, on some, yeah. Three, two, one. Pick three players you'd take on the ultimate team social. Um, Andy Beatty. Good. A great, great tourist. Yeah. Um, I'd probably take LOL, uh, uh, Lawrence Delalio. Uh, Just like Bravado times a thousand. <laughs> uh, pick three players you'd never take on a team social. Well, I've got, uh, I've got, because I've had time, yeah. I've thought of different reasons. So Johnny May, Andy Hazel, because he doesn't drink, um, <laughs> and Steve Borthwick. Funny, story, we once made because Steve doesn't drink on the hour every hour. He had to drink a protein shake with a Mars bar in it. <laughs> on our team socials. Um, unlikeliest social legend. Nigel Davis was good, but he had an alter ego called Neil, um, and like Nigel's strength was playing, like feeling the players' energy and always bigging them up. Die was- Young was amazing when we beat Stad. He does it like what when we beat Stad to to get that seventh place, play, seventh place playoff yeah. a few years ago. <laughs> He got a few and he got on the bus. I you know he's such a big man. Yeah. He got on the bus and he, he does a great rendition of Wanna Be in My Gang. And he's like, <laughs> Wanna Be in My Gang, my gang. <laughs> Everyone boys like, Yes! Literally legends so every time, every time is uh, any good wins. I'm trying to get Die to do because uh, uh, you know he's like serious man. He, best thing about Die is that he, he laughs a lot, but then obviously in Camry he like yeah. tries to control it. Like I reckon he's sticking a pen into his leg. But he does always laugh. Like to, he, uh, you know, that was my main goal to make him laugh when I was at Watts. I got him a few times. And um every time we do anything, be like, Die, give us a wanna be in my gang. I wanna be in my gang. <laughs> It's knocking people over out the bus. He was incredible. Should wives and girlfriends be allowed on team socials? I, I actually quite like going out with the missus. So. But on a team social, no. It was so uh, good. Team bonding. Yes, please. Yes, please. Sleep, essential. Just to tack on to the end of this week's show, please do drink responsibly if you are out and about. That is Remember to, to Guinness drink Guinness Clear. Yeah. Uh, that is it for this week. Is that it for this season? No, apparently not. <laughs> <laughs> we keep saying it's the last show. Apparently it's not. We just had Saigo no, really so back from all here's garbage. Here's a question. Are we doing a team social at the last show? Should we make it into like an event? We can invite viewers to come along and join us. Like, you know, like, join us. come and join us for an hour. You know when you pedal for 24 no, hours? No. No? You don't no. like the public? <laughs> no, I do like the public, but normally behind a barrier. <laughs> Um, you know what I mean? <laughs> One way glass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, you know, I don't see that. Because that'd be a great idea. Wait, okay, this, okay, okay, genuine now. Anybody wants to take part, have to record a 30-second video um, explaining why... Why we should pick Why up. you should pick you, right? And I just give a bit of advice. If you sound super nauseous, look super <laughs> weird, or really odd, 
you're not going to make the cut. We'll have to do next week. We'll do it at some point. Oh, yeah, yeah. If we, we do it at, do it at some, some point. point. Yeah, hundred sure percent. So please say, say, um, tag in. So go to the Facebook page. I've just I've got a couple of meetings. Send your send your, <laughs> <laughs> send your answers on the stamp address. Yeah. Envelope. Tag me in as well at, J- at James Hask uh, on Instagram, and I will I'll have a look and get pass on. Producer to Si is saying go to the Facebook page as well. It's sort of quite romantic that. Just wrap. Says Si for the forty third time. That's it for this week. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening to the House of Rugby. It's been lovely to have you with us as always. We're a YouTube show and a podcast. Don't forget to download and watch our boxing show, Tea Care with Carl Frampton, where you'll find the original concepts that we have bastardised and run as our own this week. And subscribe to Swanee's Cricket Show, which launches next week as well. Thank you to Haskell. Thank you to Tyndall. Viva the House of Rugby. Goodbye. (sighs) You've been watching the House of Rugby on Joe, together with Guinness. Drink responsibly. Visit drinkaware.co.uk for the facts.